before we even get started, Michelle is triggered by a word she saw on the package. <laughs> what word would that be? Isotonic. Isotonic is a mid-2000s buzzword. It means the perfect solution in your gut. Or is that... it blood? Oh, that's true. Is it blood or is it gut? I always thought it was gut. It's so, neither. Well, what was it supposed to mean? Whatever the marketing department wanted. That's true. It depends on the package. It depends on the product. I think a lot of times they promote, they use the word isotonic to mean it's the perfect solution that allows for maximum absorption without GI distress on both packages, but other packages, I do think they refer to the blood. Absolutely. And do they mean maximum absorption of water, fluid? or of carbohydrate, or of sodium, or of some algorithm of all three. We can guarantee it's not that because marketers are not algorithmizers. No, they are not. So isotonic originally, I, I believe, as a marketing term came from Gatorade, and they claimed that six to eight percent was the optimal carbohydrate concentration to promote hydration, the maximum rate of water absorption through the gut. That does not maximize carbohydrate absorption or sodium absorption or what actually matters, performance, which is a blend of maximizing hydration in the blood and energy to the muscles. But isotonic, here we have it on the infinite package today. What would you say um, on average would be the maximum carbohydrate concentration in water that the average runner or cyclist could tolerate. It depends on how thermally stressed they are and lots of other factors, how hard they're going. And it really just depends on how fast they're sweating. I mean, if it's a low sweat rate day, lots of folks can handle 25% concentration, which is 250 grams of carbs per liter, which is a solid like four times higher than Gatorade recommends. And what about a really hot day where sweat rate is heavy? 6% solution, 8% solution on a really hot day uh, but even 10% solution is fine for a lot of folks a lot of times and what about running versus cycling probably lower ice no no God, they got me using their word <laughs> <laughs> Lower concentrations are better for running, but it's still like if it's if you're running and you're not sweating a ton You could easily do a 20% solution and there are cyclists that do over 30% So I mean you can use really high concentrations. What about intensity? Does intensity factor in? Absolutely The harder you're going the more stressed your gut is gonna be because there's less blood flow that goes to the gut And your gut needs blood flow to process what you put into it. Would you like to get started? <laughs> <laughs> should, we, should we start reviewing the product now? This is infinite and the one thing I love about their company is that they actually sought to do a little bit of what Saturday does, which is customize fuel for you. Um, so they, instead of having you make a solution daily that is custom to you, they make a solution once a month or once whenever you need to order the package and they customize it to whatever they think you need uh, given. Actually, that's where I get stuck with Infinite. There's not one solution that works for you every day. You don't need the same solution for your easy days as your hard days, as your races, as your cool days, as your hot days. That's a challenge. I think they still might make Infinite Jet Fuel and Infinite Speed non-custom blends that are very similar to this, but the big difference with their new 90 and 120 products is they've added more fructose to the mix to bump the glucose fructose ratio closer to one to one so i think this is infinite's reaction to the market realizing oh closer to one to one is a better ratio for glucose fructose and they're trying to meet that market we had to get infinite's other product the speed high intensity fuel and the main difference between that product and this product is caffeine is that right uh, no i think this one is their stock product that doesn't have caffeine i think it's infinite jet fuel that does have caffeine and this, I think, does have the same ingredients roughly as the Infinite Jet Fuel, save for caffeine. So it's 57 grams of carbs, 379 milligrams of sodium. This product here, in one serving, has 90 grams of carbs and 600 milligrams of sodium. Roughly the same ratio of carbs to sodium. I bet the biggest difference is in the ingredients. I bet they added either fructose or more sugar, moved sugar up the ingredients list compared to this one. This goes maltodextrin, cane sugar, dextrose, and that's the end of the carb ingredients. Pretty strongly on the side of glucose, probably like three to one glucose fructose. Okay, this one is maltodextrin is the first ingredient, then crystalline fructose, then cane sugar or sucrose, sea salt, citric acid, then dextrose, so glucose outside the body, magnesium gluconate, potassium chloride, okay, and then there's no more carbs. So it's basically maltodextrin, crystalline fructose, sucrose, salt, citric acid, glucose. And I believe they have said, I don't know if this was a behind closed doors comment or if this is public, but I think this is close to 1 to 0.8, very similar to all the other sort of super mixes, the Scratch Super High Carb, SIS Beta Fuel, Morton. There's actually no uh, sodium citrate in here, it's just 
sodium chloride from sea salt. That's probably not the best choice for uh, gut comfort, but mm -hmm. I know that this the CEO of Infinite believes that sea salt uh, makes it taste better than sodium citrate. I totally beg to differ. I'm less culinarily experienced than he is, <laughs> but that's just what I prefer. I might have to agree with him. Uh, I do think it tastes better than sodium citrate, but I also don't care as much about what things taste like if I'm performing well, so that's just a personal preference. <laughs> But if I were to have a fine dinner, I wouldn't be sprinkling sodium citrate over something. <laughs> so, I agree. But that's fine. But if you had to have half a teaspoon of salt per hour, you might use some sodium citrate to bring down the saltiness level flavor. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I think in outside of training, I would like sea salt just because it sounds nicer, it looks nicer. In training, absolutely, I would use sodium citrate 100%. So let's go through the nutrition facts. So in one, so one serving is two scoops, and in one serving, there's 357 calories, zero fat, which is great, zero cholesterol, awesome, 600 milligrams of sodium, 90 grams of carbohydrates, zero protein, zero vitamin D, calcium, 49 milligrams, iron, nothing, 159 milligrams of potassium, and 35 milligrams of magnesium. So we've got a four to one ratio of sodium to potassium, which is like the upper end of what I would recommend for inclusion of potassium. You want it to be like less than four to one. 10 to one is great. One to zero potassium, sodium to potassium is great. Yeah, but four to one is as much potassium as I would allow. Mix two level scoops or one serving with 20 ounces or 600 milliliters of water. Consume at least 20 ounces of your infinite fuel per each hour of activity. So for me, I, in order to kind of visualize what that is, I always like to convert it to how many grams of carbs and milligrams of sodium are in a liter of water. That's just how my brain works. I wrote down that's about a, roughly 150 grams of carbs per liter and roughly a thousand milligrams of sodium per liter. So what are your thoughts on that? That's honestly, that's pretty good. I, mm -hmm. That's one of the better fuels that I've seen. Yeah, absolutely. I completely agree. I actually have been using this fairly recently in training and I have enjoyed it. It says on here underneath the suggested usage, no extra gels, bars, or salt pills are needed. And I do agree with that. I will say that because the recommendation that they make is for a 20 ounce bottle, the two scoops for 20 ounces, if you are going to concentrate it any more than that, which is common if you're going to need more than say 100 grams of carbs per liter, super common and higher intensity longer rides where maybe sweat rate isn't crazy high the flavor can get pretty strong even though it's, it's a re relatively mildly flavored mix if you're concentrating it at all it it gets pretty strong yeah that is true it's not a very light flavor like you might find in some other product it's pretty heavy it also does say 20 ounces or 600 milliliters per hour so they say two scoops or one serving and 20 ounces of water is equivalent to one hour of fuel so they are suggesting uh, via this package that 90 grams of carbs per hour is all you need and 20 ounces of water is all you need I would say that that would be on the lower end for a lot of athletes myself included especially if it's really hot outside so that's something to keep in mind. It is cool though that they are recognizing, any nutrition company is recognizing now that you can recommend solutions with 15% concentration mm -hmm. of carbs. 150 grams per, or 140 grams per liter is higher than has been recommended much before. That's in alignment with the research, so super yeah, cool. it's definitely a step in the right direction for sure. All right, let's go ahead and look over the back of this package. So it says naturally isotonic at the top. We already talked about that. I really love how they have, it looks like somebody checked the boxes with an actual like permanent marker. It looks like it was made just for you. But let's see, custom. number I know custom, <laughs> custom blended. But the first check box is 100% all natural, then no artificial colors or flavors, zero stomach distress, eliminates muscle cramping and exclusive electrolyte blend. And then they show sodium, magnesium, potassium, and calcium here. Alex, what thoughts do you have about the back of this package? That it's great marketing. I agree. I challenge a company to come out with something that is equivalently well marketed that just has what you need. You don't need magnesium. Yeah. You don't need potassium. You don't need calcium. You really just need the sodium. Um, it would be great to see a company like throw together actual scientific marketing that is also beautiful on that too. But what about all the people who cramp? Don't they need the magnesium? I know a lot of people think that. Or potassium? And unfortunately, there's no evidence that potassium helps cramping uh, during exercise. In fact, there's lots of evidence that it can make it worse if you're consuming high potassium over the course of your exercise bout. What about potassium relative to sodium and cramping? In, ter in terms of what? In, in terms of like cramping. I mean, it, 
it, potassium will make cramping more likely. Sodium, on the other hand, will make cramping less likely. Attention to all of you coconut water drinkers. Yeah. Beware. Ooh, or prime drinkers. We gotta We're do just going to add this in. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Worst Infinite sports sharing. drink of all time <laughs> because of the super high potassium. Good job, Infinite, for being 4 to 1. This has 700 million. Okay, next time. So, <laughs> Infinite, you are doing great. They, however, not so much. Don't buy prime for Don't your kids. <laughs> <laughs> you want all your kids to be running around the playground like, ah! Like, yeah, like, yes. <laughs> Don't include that. An isotonic no. solution is the most efficient way to deliver all you need with zero stomach distress. If there is too much stuff, your drink will be too dense and your body will treat it like food, causing gastric distress, dehydration, and cramping. I mean, they're not wrong. Too much salt, too much really anything while you're exercising is going to cause some GI distress. Infinite's patented Osmo Fit system ensures your nutrition solution will work better than any generic sports drink. Is it actually patented? The Osmo Michael, Fit is. Michael, it's, if you're yeah, watching. trademarked right there. No, it's but TM. trademark doesn't mean anything. I know, but, well, that's true. Registered means something. It has to have a little circle R. Yeah, that's true. And patented is totally different than trademark and registration. Patented is for protecting intellectual property. Trademark and registration is for protecting the use of a word or a brand logo mark or something. So do you think that this product works better than any generic sports drink? It works better than Prime. <laughs> better than <that. laughs> I promise you that. Can you it imagine probably... doing an Iron Man with that? Just that. I will give a... Like... Oh my God, no. <laughs> I, somebody please film that, please. <laughs> please do that. Lifetime subscription to Saturday. Oh, if absolutely. you do an Iron Man, nothing but those. Like. And put it on YouTube for me to watch. <laughs> okay. So Infinite is easily top half of endurance fuels and sports drinks in general, probably top 25%. You probably know that I think very little of most sports drinks and most endurance fuels. So that's not a humongous compliment, but it is a compliment. Yeah, there's a lot right here. Should we check how much it costs? I, I'm afraid because one, they did a lot right, and two, the package is pretty. It says you can have the best ingredients in the world, but if they are too highly concentrated or if the mix is wrong, you might as well be trying to work out while eating a cheeseburger. Yeah, that's marketing. <laughs> it's exaggerated. I mean, how... Somebody filmed that too. <laughs> <laughs> You could do an Iron Man eating cheeseburgers. You just walk the run, just slog in the swim, just glass cranks on the bike, you'd be fine. But I mean, like, if you're actually trying to race. Well, that would be, <laughs> be horrific. <laughs> <laughs> well, the starter pack, which has five servings, is $25. Is that for real? Wait, the starter pack has, has five servings, okay. five single serves, I think. Uh, dare we find out how much the full package is. $48. How many servings are in that? $48 12? for this. 12 servings? There are 12 servings. Well, it's only $4 a serving. I, I just hope you don't exercise like more than 12 hours in a week because that would be 50 bucks a week to exercise. A couple hundred bucks a month, $2,400 a year. I mean, just think about how many bikes you could buy over time or even just like tires or wheels. I mean, you could get like swim coaching yeah you could hire a really aero good testing swim. i mean there's a lot of things you could buy if you didn't buy <laughs> if you didn't buy like a week off of work at least yeah that's true too i love that the entire nutrition market of powder sellers are all starting to offer like coaching and consultation and testing it's a trojan horse to get you to buy more of their product they're all realizing that you all want like actual good information and actual good coaching but they don't realize i hope that you realize that uh, they're going to be biased to their products and it's just yeah. a machine to get you to buy more expensive powder they might have a lot of good to offer too as far as their nutrition recommendations outside of training at the end of the day they want you to purchase more of their product what is that one that's i think that might be their women's marketing one wait wait go back to that the women's marketing one what is that i, I want to say infinite go far no hold there. on hold on we've got to check that out i have to see what's on the women's brand a lighter all-in-one isotonic drink oh so maybe it's a lighter flavor or something it's gonna be lower carb infinite go far has 66 carb, four protein, and 379 sodium. Infinite Go Far for Women takes out six grams of carbs, bumps it down to 60, takes out two grams of protein, bumps it from four to two, and then the sodium is roughly the same. I don't know, women, we're just not worthy of protein or carbs. We just want to atrophy and perform terribly. We don't deserve that extra two grams of protein, Alex. Not that you'd want that anyway. I mean, that is true. Well. We probably don't want to use that anyway. I'm obsessed with user experience. And my favorite part about this product is that I can immediately see the scoop because it is bright pink. I love that. 
Nice touch. That is true. If you were to do a hot six hour cross country mountain bike race, how would you use this? Let's see, six hours, I would need six servings, uh, assuming I want 90 grams per hour. But I actually probably want a little bit more than that, so we'll call it seven servings. So that's a little over half the bag. Uh, so my first thought is, would be that I spent more than $50 after tax and shipping on this bag, and that if I'm gonna use half of it for one workout, um, that makes my stomach hurt, and I don't like GI distress. So I would immediately think, cut the solution by like, 10 to 1 with sugar and sodium citrate from my cupboard. So maybe 50% this, 50% your own concoction? Mm-hmm. With a little bit more sodium because I'm a big sweater. All right. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, let us know if you love infinite nutrition in the comments. Until next time. <laughs>